Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 13 and I'm going to be doing a review on my Cotopaxi Alpa 35 liter bag that I got. This is a travel bag and the reason why I'm doing it is because when I did create the original video of me unboxing it, I got a comment asking if I was going to do a follow-up video and I thought that was a really good idea. Um, to be honest, I have two experiences with this bag so obviously it's not like i have taken it on like a long backpacking trip but i had an overnight trip with the bag and then i also did a, a trip to chicago a couple of weeks ago so i'm gonna be talking about it uh from those points of view so just be aware that no i did not take this backpack like backpacking or or like you know for like a long period of time it was an overnight trip and a and a and I think I like a four day trip to Chicago. So, so let's get started. So as I mentioned already, this is a Cotopaxi 35 liter Alpa bag. And I already showed you everything in the video, like what it looks like. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but um, about like everything in the bag. But basically what I wanna say is that as an overnight bag, I think this is plenty of room and it might be a little too big for one person so adam and i took a trip to seattle a couple of weeks ago and instead of taking both of our backpacks we only took mine and everything fit we literally had pajamas a change of clothes for the next day i think some swimming suits i took um a little blanket for wally because wally came with us wally snacks i had toiletries for both of us sandals and another pair of shoes for me and an extra jacket and we also had my camera bag not my camera bag sorry uh, my, my dslr and then i also carry this little thing in here that has just extra camera things uh, for my handheld camera so all that fit here and there was still plenty of room left um so for an overnight bag for one person it's perfect you'll have plenty of room even if you bring your laptop and a few extra things you'll be fine there's plenty of room um even sharing it with another person so in this case i shared it with adam it was totally fine he did not use um this backpack to store his laptop though he had his own like laptop bag that he had but i think if he would have just put the laptop in here it would have been just fine like i said there was plenty of room I think one of my favorite things about the backpack and right now everything is open but it's that extra that extra opening on the side that when you open it you can reach inside the like the interior compartment which is awesome because if you just want to grab like a jacket or something you could quickly go ahead and do that um, rather than having to open everything and taking everything out so as a traveling backpack when you're doing a longer trip this was my carry-on bag and this time around i did bring a, i had to check in a bag but that's because i was bringing stuff for work um so i'm not really gonna count that because that was just all work related stuff but whatever was in my bag it was just all my personal belongings along with my dslr and three of my lenses along with my handheld handheld camera and my laptop and all like extra snacks that i packed so basically in here i in here like the top compartment like right here i kept my camera my wallet id and my keys just to have easy access to everything and on occasions i would also put my gloves and my beanie because it was super cold in chicago um so i would keep that at the very very top um then inside on the compartments like i said i was i brought my camera and my lenses so i kept them in this side of the mesh um, inside one of the gray pouches that came with the with the bag and i thought it was perfect like nothing got damaged it was like it was very supported and the reason why i was carrying it here was because i wasn't going to put it in my check bag and i didn't want to carry an extra bag so in here i just kept more snacks i also carry like a water bottle um actually water container not water bottle um that i had in here and then everything else just fit fine in this big like opening and to be honest you could put a lot of stuff i 
tend to overpack because I when I go to a new place I don't know what kind of weather we're gonna have or what events like I'm gonna attend so I had extra clothes extra sweaters because I knew Chicago was really cold and it was my first time going there so I was prepared and it was it was packed and then like in here in my laptop bag I had I had my laptop and some cables and my charger and everything so everything fit it was pretty comfortable to carry even though it was heavy i have to be honest it was heavy i didn't really want to put anything that i was carrying um in here in my check bag i think maybe i put like one of my jackets in there just because there was plenty of room but i wanted to truly test the backpack out so i kept all my clothes in here and everything and everything else i mentioned and even though it was heavy, it was very comfortable. Um, it has very comfortable straps. And I love the fact that it has a support strap at the bottom, kind of like a backpacking backpack. I always feel that that gives you really good support. Um, so it was really comfortable to wear. I love that whenever like you're just going, like I could pick it up from like any side. Although because whenever I had my camera, like I always just um, picked it up the right way. But once I got to the hotel and took out all the stuff and kind of unpacked, I still kept using this backpack every day for just everyday things at work. Because we were traveling from the hotel to our office and we had like some meetings, I brought the backpack just with my laptop and like my camera and things like that. So once I took some of the stuff out, it was just really easy to carry. Obviously, this is not necessarily your everyday backpack. Um, it can be but then you just have a bunch of room and then that, that gets a little awkward but this is perfect for traveling so um, I wouldn't say this is like like I said this is not you're gonna this is not gonna be your daily backpack but I was just using it like that because I wanted something sturdy that could carry my laptop because I don't have a laptop I like a laptop bag normally um, I just whenever I need a laptop I just have to use like I just use Adams instead of having to travel with mine as well so um, this time around I just used this and it was it was nice it was useful um, I did the first so when I was on my way to Chicago instead of putting it under the seat I just put it above um, the seats and that fit fine I was more concerned just because the, um, the flight was really crowded and since I had a lot of camera gear, I didn't really want people to touch it. So it was like, oh, I'll just put it at the top, but I didn't want to get anybody like kicking it or anything. But on the way back, um, the flight was in a school and then I had plenty of room. So I wanted to give it a try and putting it under the seat. And it fits perfect, even though with all the crap that I had in there because I had my camera. And then when I came back, I literally put everything in here and my check bag was pretty much empty except for that one jacket that i had um and yeah i was really surprised so it fits just fine and the coolest thing was being able to access those like spots without having to like pick up the backpack or take everything out like i had some snacks so whenever i needed something i would just open it i took my laptop out for a little bit and i didn't really have to make a big deal um so i really love the backpack i also love the fact that it has like the security little straps in here and the little loops that protects your lap um not your laptop well actually yeah your laptop if it's in here but uh, in general like nobody can open your backpack without you noticing so i thought that was really neat um i really really like it i'm really excited to take this one on our trip to Alaska in July because it will be a longer trip and it'll really be like living out of the backpack along with the day pack that, that came with it. Um, so yeah, I definitely think as far as, as far as sturdiness, it's definitely a 10 out of 10. Like I never had any issues with it. It's comfortable. Um, obviously for the most part, I think it's water resistant in the top but that's why they give you like a like a little poncho to put it over like a uh, like a rain protector rain gear for your backpack just like if it's raining harder then like your laptop doesn't get wet or anything else but i don't know like it's really sturdy i think it's comfortable it was worth the money um 
I don't think we'll go back to using our regular luggage unless for some reason we're traveling with a lot of stuff like I had to do this time around when I was in Chicago but aside from that it really really serves all our needs it's a good size if you're traveling I feel like even if you're traveling for a week or two weeks like you could fit everything in here um I think it's just a matter of figuring out all the stuff that you have and what you want to take but it's definitely doable if you're if you're looking to purchase a travel backpack I think the Alpa 35 liter from Cotopaxi is great again actually I don't even think I disclosed this but this is not a sponsored video like we paid for these we heard really good reviews about them and I just love how like how sturdy they are and just like they're convenient like you could carry them from every side like it has the the protector lock thingies here tons of storage like tons of room to put like you know like your easy like easy accessible stuff or like things that you want to kind of keep keep um uh, you know like more protected they can go inside and then i also let me show you so when you open the big pouch and this is something i didn't share in the other video because i didn't know so when you open the big pouch there's also an extra little pouch right here where you could put extra stuff so i think if you had any like sensitive like valuables or like your jewelry or you know extra cash or something that you didn't necessarily want to have like, like easily accessible like you could put it in here and you could hardly even notice like i was it was when i was unpacking i was like what is this extra zipper i was like oh it's a it's a little secret pocket so i thought that was really awesome um i probably if i was working out or something while i was traveling i probably put all my jewelry there so um it's inside the backpack and it doesn't you know it doesn't get lost it i have to say that it's a 10 out of 10 for me so far um i used it on two trips like i said one overnight and one it was like three or like four it was four days um so it, it's great it fits easily fits all my stuff that i need my laptop my camera all my clothes extra shoes snacks water bottle and then if you take the day pack with you it, that's easier for you to travel with as obviously you just can't take your laptop there um that's the only inconvenience but you could also like take this in the city and if you need to you could uh, when you're on the train you could go ahead and put the straps inside of here so then it's just like a regular like little suitcase rather than a backpack but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're more curious about Cotopaxi and what they do, visit their website. They have a lot of really cool stuff. And from what I understand, a lot of this is recyclable, uh, recyclable materials. And also they, they help and donate uh, to refugees. So I think that's, you know, it's not only a good product that you're getting, you're helping and you're being sustainable with reusable materials. So that's awesome. So that's it for Vlogmas Day 13. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you guys next time.